Hello and welcome back to another episode of Project Supercar. The channel where I've built my own DIY supercar using an old Audi A6 like this one as a donor car. Now this episode is part three of a series of episodes detailing the removal of the wiring loom from this donor car. Can't believe it's taken three episodes. Right, this loom is almost out, all apart from one piece, which is this here. It uh, goes into the bulkhead, and I think I'm going to have to pull the wheel off to find out where this goes. If we take a look in the engine bay, we'll see a plug here, and this is for the ABS and I think this is the last part of the wiring loom and it goes somewhere deep in there so let's pull the wheel off see if I can get to it now I need to pull this wheel off so that I can get into here but it's a bit tight in this garage so I think what I'm going to do is open up the garage door push this car out just a little bit so I've got some space to work and to put the camera. removed I can now get better access to inside the wheel arch and right at the back I'm hoping you can see this is a plastic dust shield there's a corner there and here's some of it here okay now it looks like if I can remove this I don't think I can take it all the way out of the car because the steering rack has to be removed to do that but if I can undo this to a point, I, I might be able to get my hand down here where I can then reach the rest of this wiring loom. So here goes. It looks like there's a stud with an M10 nut on it and then two plastic poppers inside here. Um, I might have to bring the camera in after I do this. It's a bit tight. off so here's this plastic shield which I can't remove totally because obviously I'm going to have to remove the steering rack to do that but that does give me access to inside here and you can just make out the wiring loom Let's see if I can do this there we go it's in there and there's a plastic clip there there's a plastic clip there, and those will have to be unclipped. This is a bit tight, this is. Oof. I'll 
just reach in there with a screwdriver and unclip those clips. Hopefully. Right, looks like that piece is undone. Now there's a series of more clips and there's one there, uh, one there, and there's one right deep inside. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to cut these. There's no way I can save these clips, I'm afraid. So I'll cut them out and this should release this loom. Fingers crossed. Right, I should just be able to pull this through, nice and gently, hopefully it doesn't get snagged. It's out! Finally! Right, the moment of truth. This wiring loom has now been stripped from the cup. Oh, got some weight in it, look at that. So the loom is out of the car. Now, this isn't all of it, because the front part of the loom is obviously detachable. And then there's the loom for the dashboard, which I removed from the car a few weeks ago. Before I can get these two up in the attic, I think it might be a good idea to separate this wiring loom from this dashboard brace bar. So I think what I'll do is I'll get it up on the bench and we'll take a closer look. It looks a little bit complicated, but I'll bring the camera in and we can take a closer look. <laughs> oh, that squeaky chair. <laughs> it's upside down at the moment, but we'll just take a look at the fuse box there. A couple of bolts, we've got some clips. Just remember where these go. And this is the underside. This is where the steering column bolts to. And here are some of the relays and uh, connector blocks here for the power cables. We'll have to remove those. And that thing there is for the engine bay. So just take a quick look, make a note of everything, because uh, once I've pulled this loom off, I want to know how it goes back on again. And there's some clips there, make a note of those, because they're coming off. I've turned it the right way up. Now we see the fuse box, and some clips. These set of plugs here 
actually go inside the engine bay and this is where the ECU plugs into. Now that's going to be in the way of the front wheel on the turbo build, I'm pretty sure of that. But it should be easy to fix. I'll cut these off, relocate these because the ECU is now going to be in the back of the car. So while I'm here we'll just take a quick look of these connectors, make a note of everything because when I pull this loom off I want to know how it goes back on. It looks all pretty straightforward. the looms off and I just want to take a quick look at the underside because I've noticed some uh, captive nuts over here where the airbag used to go. Now that could come in handy in relocating some of this stuff when I do the uh, turbo build. So have a quick look at that. With the loom removed we can have a better look at all these brackets. Like I say I think these two will have to be chopped off that's for the steering column, this here is for the air conditioning unit and this is where the airbag used to live and th these could come in handy and that's it time to put it upstairs in the attic so this loom is going to go up in the attic with the rest of the parts that I want to keep until I need it Let's take a quick look inside. Now all the wiring loom has been removed. Looking quite uh, clean in there. No wiring left. Let's take a look up there. It's pretty much a uh, stripped shell. Well, on the inside anyway. A few bits and pieces I still need which would be the handbrake. Um, I'm going to remove the gear lever of course, but I don't think I'll be using it. But for me to remove those items, I'm going to have to remove the prop shaft and the exhaust, which will be done in later episodes. Oh, got a load of plastic clips. I'll sort through those, chuck away the broken ones and keep any good ones.
With the loom out, I've also found a whole load of these modules. So let's just take a quick look. So let's start with the modules I don't think I'm going to be using. And this is the Electric Stability Program or ECU box. So I won't be using that. And this unit here is part of this system because this unit, let's see if I can get it to uh, focus up. This monitors the pitch and yaw of the car so the ECU, this one here, knows what the car is actually doing. And I won't be using this. This, by the way, is 565 quid. Ouch. <laughs> Probably end up on eBay for a tenner. But I won't be using those. Next up is the airbag control module. This one here. And I won't be using this either. These two appear to be the shock sensors to trip the airbag in case of an accident. But those won't be used. And here we have the siren for the alarm. Pretty sure the uh, camera won't pick that up, but here you go. Well, maybe it will. So that's the siren, and this is the shock sensor alarm module as well. So let's just get that up there. And I do want to use these two, so I'm going to be keeping them. And then there's this mystery box. And hopefully you can make that out. It's a better picture. Well, apparently, this is the comfort control module, which was correctly pointed out by Dom, one of my subscribers. So, yeah, you're right on this one. This controls the electric windows and the central locking and all that sort of stuff with regards to the key fob. So, I will be keeping this. Well, thanks for watching and join me again where I think I'll have to start pulling the exhaust off, the prop shaft, the fuel tank, or I might chop the roof off. I don't know, we'll see. But until next time, bye for now.